Hi, my name is Karthik from Design School by WP Algorithm. I'm a web developer and a WordPress blogger. I make step-by-step -step WordPress and Elementor tutorials for beginners. So if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing so that you don't miss out on any new content that I put out. Now in this video, I want to share five lesser known features that people should really be using on Elementor, but they really don't know or maybe it was overlooked. So in this video, I'll just highlight those and I'm sure that these five features will improve your workflow quite a lot. So without any further ado, let's get into today. So here are the five features or five lesser known features that are present in Elementor but are not quite obvious. Starting with number one, which is role manager. Now, if you go to Elementor, it's clearly there and you can click on it. And what this essentially lets you do is to limit the access to Elementor templates. So they can't edit anything. So if you choose not to give access to any of the roles, you can also create custom roles with any other WordPress plugins. Since I've excluded all the roles, I just need to exclude and click on save changes. Now I have a user on my site called author one. So if I click on that, you can see there is an author called KK and he has a role type of author. You can see that. Now if I log out and try logging back in using the author's credentials, you can see that I just have access to templates of Elementor. I do not get access to any of the settings in Elementor. But even if I click on templates, when I hover over the template, I don't see edit. I don't see edit with Elementor. I don't see delete option. So all I can do as an author right now is to view the template, which is what we really want while designing websites. So role manager is a huge feature and it's one of the lesser talked about features in Elementor. That's the number one hidden feature in Elementor that you really should be using. Now the second feature that I really want to point out is to set the background of a whole page. So whenever you're working in Elementor, you can click on the settings cog, click on style and you can set background for the entire page. Now this can be your global color or this can be another color. So if you set a background to the whole page or the whole body, whichever element has a transparent background. So if you don't set a background to a particular section, column or a widget, it will basically inherit the background of the body. Third feature that I really want to highlight here is the ability to organize your templates into categories. So when you click on templates in the backend, there's a categories option. It's just like WordPress categories, but just for your elementary templates. As you all know, or you might have known that elementary templates are also custom post types. So they can have all the properties that posts have. So you can simply give a category. So you can create a category called important and you can have a slug for it and simply click on add new category. So once you create a category, you can go to any template. You can simply click on quick edit. You can also click on edit. I'll just click on quick edit and you can choose the category and click on update. Now the category appears and if you click on that, it will take you to all the templates that fall under this category. Also, there is a filter. So if you go back to your save templates, there's also a category filter. So you can simply filter them with that and click on filter. So only the templates under that category are shown. This is a really handy feature. Maybe you can have templates organized based on the urgency. So if you need some templates to be delivered to the client immediately, you can mark them using this feature. This is really huge and I think it's a big time saver to be precise. So this is again another hidden feature that people really don't use much in Elementor. Now the fourth feature is to change or the ability to change the custom breakpoint width. So by default, you have few breakpoints and if you want to change them, breakpoints are the width in pixels at which your design changes, maybe from desktop to tablet and from tablet to mobile. So when you click on the hamburger menu, when you open up any template, click on site settings, you can scroll down and click on layout. And under here, 
you have the option to change the width of breakpoints. So if you want to change the width of the breakpoint to some other width, maybe your header demands more width or maybe your custom templates require this to be the breakpoint, mobile breakpoint or this to be the tablet breakpoint. You can certainly change them and don't forget to click on update. So once you do that, your breakpoints will be changed and your design changes are now applied at these breakpoints instead of the custom breakpoints. But I'll just skip it for now and I'll say discard. So it will discard and restore those changes. So again, use custom breakpoints or change the values you want. Now the fifth biggest feature that I really want to stress upon is the finder in Elementor. It not just works when you're in the Elementor interface, it also works across your WordPress interface. So once you log into your site, it will work from anywhere there. Just hold down command or control and click on E and it brings up finder. Now, if you don't know what the finder can do, you can simply hit the space bar and it gives you all the options that you can do with the finder. And there's one more trick here. If you hold down the command or control key and click on add new page, it opens in a new tab instead of opening in the same tab. So this is really handy when you're creating multiple templates and you still want to be able to see the dashboard or maybe adjust few other settings. So simple, just hit command E from anywhere once you're logged in in the WordPress interface and it brings up finder and then just hit space bar and you have all the options and all the things that the finder can do. It can even take you to the customizer area. So just open up finder and click on customizer and there you are in the customizer area of your team which is really awesome this is a heavily underutilized feature in elemental that you really should be using that's it for now that's my list of top five features that you should be using what is your take on this let me know in the comments down below i'll catch you in the next one until then peace